Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm doing part three of my short video series on how to sell puts or the beginner's guide to selling puts. I already covered these first two points here. Today, I'm gonna cover some basic terms you should know about if you're thinking about selling puts and also what it's like to sell a put. So kind of that process you would go through to sell a put, um, what I think it'd be helpful to go over as well. So basic terms you should know, absolutely. Uh, number one is the strike price. I wrote these definitions in, from the perspective of selling, selling the, someone selling the puts. So if you look these terms up, you know, mostly they're written in the buyer's uh, perspective. But essentially, the strike price is the price you pick at which you agree to buy these shares at, right? So if you were to get exercised, that's the price that you would get exercised at. Um, and then the other part of the option is not just the strike price, but also the expiration date. So this is when the, the option expires. So if it gets to this date and the strike price is underneath the stock price, that price, that means that it's out of the money, it's a worthless, it's gonna expire to zero, right? Um, other terms are there's in the money, there's out of the money. And from the perspective of the put seller, you want your options to be out of the money, right? Because if it's in the money, that means that you have to pay something. Uh, it's still worth something, you have to buy back. Um, and that's when they can exercise the, the option, right? If it's, un, if it's out of the money, they're not gonna exercise because they're gonna lose money and it's currently worthless. And the other term you need to know is a premium. That's how much they pay you for when you sell the put. So these are pretty basic terms. I think it's pretty easy to understand here. Um, so I'm gonna go over how to sell a put. Uh, just like kind of physically, right? Uh, number one, I think most people don't have this or have you ever done that? You wanna apply for the options capability on your brokerage. I've, uh, I did it on Fidelity, it was very easy. You click a couple, you click a couple buttons. Uh, and then number two is how to read an option chain. And I think that uh, it's helpful if we go over this because I had some friends ask me about it and they're just like, I'm confused on what's going on. So I'll pull up the Tesla option chain here. And once, then once you know those terms we just talked about, strike price, expiration date and premium. Uh, that's pretty much all you need to know to look at this. So there's a lot of numbers here and it's kind of confusing, but I'll orient you very quickly. So at the top here, you can see dates. So these are organized by dates, right? And usually it's every Friday of every week, it will be a weekly. And then the, th the third Friday every month is a monthly. And usually they have it ready like five weeks out or so for the weeklies. And then, you know, after that is they only have that one date on the month. So the third Friday of every month. Okay, so then this middle line here is going to be all the strike prices, right? And usually they'll kind of start at the mid the midpoint will be the current price. It'll go up and down depending on how you set it up. You can obviously change the number of you know prices you want to see, but essentially this is the strike price. So for each day, think about there's a a list of numbers uh, of strike prices, and for each strike price, there's the, their own little market of which they're going to buy and sell things at, right? So as you can see, as you get further and further away from expiration. The, the premiums will get higher and higher. So the $1,010 put from 12 days is worth $2,700 right now, but the uh, uh, 1010 one in 19 days is worth $3,600 right now, right? Because they have more time to be wrong, right? So they're paying an extra premium to you. So I, I like to sell, I think I put somewhere between 35 to 40 days or so, right? So you can see right here, if you sell a put for 1010, uh, 33 days from now, they'll pay you $5,600 to $5,900, somewhere around here to to sell this put. So you promise to buy 100 shares of Tesla at 1010. If it expires worthless, then you just keep this premium. Okay. And that's how you read. Um, that's how you read uh, the option chain. Oh, once again, sorry, it's orient you. On the left side is calls. These are call options. And then on the right side is put options. So for each one, you can kind of see. And there's other metrics here. I'll cover that later. But just for a general understanding, this is how you would essentially look at the option prices. If you see one you like, you click on that. And then you can go into actually uh, buying buying that option, all right? So, um, or selling that option. Okay, so going back here, uh, what happens when you actually sell a put? So this is probably confusing if you've never done it before. So what happens when you sell a put is you get that premium in your account instantly, right? And then what would happen is you have this put also on your account and that has a negative value. So I'll, I'll, get, I'll do a screenshot of a put I have in my account right now. And if we were to read this, you can see that this was a 950 put. Okay, so that, that's the strike price, 950. The expiration date is February 18th, 2022. And the premium that I got from it was $11,000. So $11,794, right? That's how much money I got from selling this put um, some time ago, okay? And you'll notice one thing here is you see its current value. Its current value is negative 
47 27 dollars okay so what happened what this means is if i went if i went and look, look at the option chain right now i look for the 950 on february 22nd uh february 18 2022 then it'd be 47 dollars that's what that's that was what that, those two numbers would be it was somewhere about 47 dollars right so if i were to buy this put right back right now to get this to get this put off of my off of my um account then i would have to pay 47 27 and then i would have made a total of seven thousand dollars because i got paid eleven thousand dollars and um, I would pay 4700 to get rid of it. So right when you sell this put, let's say I sold it right away, I would have had 11794 here. I would have had 11794 in my account, and I would have a negative 11794 on this current value. So when you sell the put, you basically have a negative value on this account until you buy it back. And you can buy this back at any time. So I can buy it back now and collect a $7,000 profit, or I can wait until February 18th, where this will probably be zero because I think that stock the stock price will be above 950 by February 18th, 2022. But the idea is you can buy this put back anytime. You're not tied to it. Um, the only thing that would happen is if you get exercised, but that happens very rarely. And it will never happen right now where the put is, is below the money. So let's say for example, the stock price dips to 900, then there's a chance that I get exercised where I have to buy 100 shares at 950, even though the stock is only worth 900, okay? So that is a very condensed process of what it will look like if you were to sell a put. Hope this helps. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and then we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.